Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of May 11, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. We show you the SP500 ETF and it belongs to the bull high class. Our analysis shows you a strong opportunity to sell. We are expecting a sell return of 0.9%. This top opportunity has a minimum sell price of $288.35. But we expect a possible sell price of $294.07. On the put option table, SP500 ETF has a striking price at $295. For this option, the actual put price is at $6.36, but we expect a possible put price at $4.9. We show you the Dow Jones Industrial ETF and it belongs to the bull high class. Our analysis shows you a strong opportunity to sell. We are expecting a sell return of 0.4%. This top opportunity has a minimum sell price of $240.45, but we expect a possible sell price of $244.38. On the put option table, Dow Jones Industrial ETF has a striking price at $245. For this option, the actual put price is at $6.28, but we expect a possible put price at $4.79. We show you the NASDAQ 100 ETF and it belongs to the bull high class. Our analysis shows you a strong opportunity to sell. We are expecting a sell return of 0.8%. This top opportunity has a minimum sell price of $223.64, but we expect a possible sell price of $228.1. On the put option table, NASDAQ 100 ETF has a striking price at $230. For this option, the actual put price is at $6.17, but we expect a possible put price at $4.79. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Valero Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $60.75. For put option, a possible put price is at $3.37. Kanoko Phillips Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Kanoko Phillips Company is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $45.27. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $42.54. On the call option table, Kanoko Phillips Company has a striking price at $41. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.89, but we expect a possible call price at $2.25. Valero Energy is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 5.1%.
we suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $60.75, but we expect a possible sell price of $67.37. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Bolero Energy, if it is over 1.65% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Valero Energy has a striking price at $68. For this option, the actual put price is at $4, but we expect a possible put price at $3.37. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Wells Fargo. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 14.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $24.78. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.26. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell American International G. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $25.49. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.36. American Express was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that American Express is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $83.73. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $87.19. On the put option table, American Express has a striking price at $89. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.4, but we expect a possible put price at $2.84. Bank of America was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Bank of America is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $22.25. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $23.14. On the put option table, Bank of America has a striking price at $25. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.41, but we expect a possible put price at $0.93. MasterCard Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that MasterCard Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $284.88, but we expect a possible sell price of $286.33. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $276.23. On the call option table, MasterCard Incorporated has a striking price at $270. For this option, the actual call price is at $13.8, but we expect a possible call price at $8.12. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Crown Castle. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $155.77. For put option, 
a possible put price is at $7.17. We show you the healthcare sector ETF and it belongs to the trade low class. Our analysis shows you a mild opportunity to sell. We are expecting a sell return of 1.9%. This top opportunity has a minimum sell price of $99.96. But we expect a possible sell price of $100.34. On the put option table, healthcare sector ETF has a striking price at $101. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.93. But we expect a possible put price at $1.8. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Merck Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $77.81. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.17. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. United Health Group was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that United Health Group is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $288.5. But we expect a possible sell price of $293.45. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $282.64. On the call option table, United Health Group has a striking price at $280. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.2. But we expect a possible call price at $7.56. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Caterpillar Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $109.61. For call option, a possible call price is at $3.58. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Boeing Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Boeing Company is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $126.44. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $135.56. On the put option table, Boeing Company has a striking price at $140. For this option, the actual put price is at $13.33. But we expect a possible put price at $8.88. Lockheed Martin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Lockheed Martin is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $379.96. But we expect a possible sell price of $383.2. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $366.28. On the call option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $365. For this option, the actual call price is at $15. But we expect a possible call price at $10.62. United Parcel Service was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. 
you can observe that United Parcel Service is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $91.31. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $95.16. On the put option table, United Parcel Service has a striking price at $96. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.78 but we expect a possible put price at $4.09. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $547.98. For put option, a possible put price is at $12.7. Sherwin Williams was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Sherwin Williams is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $542.51 but we expect a possible buy price of $538.19. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $560.67. On the put option table, Sherwin-Williams has a striking price at $560. For this option, the actual put price is at $14.35, but we expect a possible put price at $12.7. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $180.26. For call option, a possible call price is at $4.96. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell the Home Depot. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $232.13. For put option, a possible put price is at $8.51. Amazon Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Amazon Incorporated is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $2,451.87, but we expect a possible sell price of $2491.11. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $2,303.51. On the call option table, Amazon Incorporated has a striking price at $2,310. For this option, the actual call price is at $110.7 but we expect a possible call price at McDonald's was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that McDonald's is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $195.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $179.42. On the call option table, McDonald's has a striking price at 
For this option, the actual call price is at $7.28, but we expect a possible call price at $4.96. Walt Disney Company is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $105.31, but we expect a possible sell price of $110.01. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Walt Disney Company. If it is over 4.25% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Walt Disney Company has a striking price at $111. For this option, the actual put price is at $5.13. But we expect a possible put price at $3.3. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Kraft Heinz company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $29.09. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.73. The Coca-Cola Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that the Coca-Cola Company is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $43.53. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $46.43. On the put option table, the Coca-Cola company has a striking price at $47. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.48. But we expect a possible put price at $1.08. Colgate Palmolive was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Colgate Palmolive is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $69.71 but we expect a possible sell price of $70.45. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $67.39. On the call option table, Colgate Palmolive has a striking price at $68. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.07, but we expect a possible call price at $1.53. CVS Health Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that CVS Health Corporation is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2 percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $61.61, but we expect a possible buy price of $61.59. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $63.1. On the put option table, CVS Health Corporation has a striking price at $65. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.34, but we expect a possible put price at $1.73. Estee Lauder was a previous top buy alternative. Today. Our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that ST Lauder is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $176.54. On the other hand, 
we suggest to stop buying if the price is $169.43. On the call option table, ST Law Order has a striking price at $165. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.8, but we expect a possible call price at $10.02. Technology Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Technology Sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Cisco Systems Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Cisco Systems Company is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $43.05 but we expect a possible sell price of $44.07. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $41.36. On the call option table, Cisco Systems Company has a striking price at $40. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.58, but we expect a possible call price at $2.12. IBM is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.7%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $122.89, but we expect a possible buy price of $119.32. In addition, we suggest to stop buying IBM. If it is below 5.0's Qualcomm company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Qualcomm company is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 4.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $78.32 but we expect a possible buy price of $77.58. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $82.61. On the put option table, Qualcomm Company has a striking price at $83. For this option, the actual put price is at $3.43, but we expect a possible put price at $2.14. Salesforce Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Salesforce Company is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $187.33. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $170.78. On the call option table, Salesforce Company has a striking price at $155. For this option, the actual call price is at $24.6, but we expect a possible call price at $7.83. Communication Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy AT&T. You can observe, 
it has an expected buy return of 0.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $29.87. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.27. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $96.41. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.19. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $82.46. For call option, a possible call price is at $5.28. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.